bitch about it, man, I'm tryna grind, man They roll that bad word for me They turn me up in the booth, man I got something to say Gotta start me from the top, let's go I am, I am actually genuinely sorry for not showing y'all the entire process of me making the CMOS, but I am going to show y'all, I guess, halfway through it, but I can't tell y'all like the beginning steps that I took towards it to making it and um, how to tell if it's fake and how to tell if it's real. So y'all stay tuned for that. Let's get to it. All right. So this is actually my CMOS after I didn't soaked it. I soaked this um, for 24 hours. You could do it for eight hours. You could do it for... 24 48 you know i did it for 24 because i ain't have the i ain't i was doing something last night so i didn't pull it out so but yeah this is it what i did was i rinsed this in um natural spring water right you rinse this in natural spring water so basically you just clean it in spring water right and after you do you put it through a deep rinse or whatever you fill it up with you fill this a bowl up with spring water with the sea moss inside when it fills up, fill it up to like about the, by, you know, about the top, about above it. And it should be in this, um, in the, in the form of sea moss, right? Let me show y'all something real quick. The sea moss I had. And, um, I go ahead and tell y'all, like, I didn't open up the sea moss in that video and show y'all how it looked or anything. So let me, let me open up the sea moss real quick. All right. So you see this right here? This is real sea moss. Now. The, the fake sea moss that you see that's pool grown, you can obviously tell, like, when I smell it, it smells like the sea. Um, uh, let me not put it over the bowl, but look. Um, pool grown sea moss actually has sand. Like, if I were to pick this up, it would be dropping sand right now. This one already has the sand. Hold it on there, like, you know, from the, the na natural sand. Natural sand and salt, you know what I'm saying? It's from the sea. Um, fake sea moss would be dripping sand and dripping salt. People be putting their own salt, sprinkling salt on it. It's not real. And also, it's supposed to be very thin and crunchy when it's dry. That's how you know it's sun-dried. Very crunchy, very uh, thin. The fake sea moss uh, pool grown under artificial light, under light with light like that, um, will actually have, uh, what's it called? It will actually be thicker. And it'd be more gooey, you know what I'm saying? More gooey, you know, like gooey substance. So watch out for that. So yeah, I'm gonna put this back in the bag. And um, like I was saying about this, but what I was doing with the process, you basically rinse it off in, um, rinse it off in natural spring water, rinse it off. Then after you dry, uh, after you, not dried it off, but after you poured out the water from the cleaning water, you fill it up with natural spring water, cover this up, put it in your refrigerator for about 24 hours and then after that you take it out you rinse it off you can rinse it off more with some more natural spring water and then i'm gonna show you the next step afterwards we're finna go do it now let's go so you see i got the blender and i got the sea moss so let's get to it so take it take your sea moss you start packing the blender up right right packing the blender up the sea moss, I'm trying not to get cut because they got them blades in there. Um, yeah, get it in there. I'm getting my desk wet and all type of stuff. Do I care though? Nah, oh yeah, get it done in there. Last little bit, be taking this every day, you feel me, and then. You take your natural spring water. I just filled this up. Natural spring water. And you give yourself about, let's see. I usually fill that thing up to about right there. You can add more afterwards, but just you need to see where you at with it. Then you put that bad baby on. Boom. Get it on. They got the different modes on it, as you can see. I'm gonna put it on low first. All right, I meant to mention. I meant to mention.
condition. You see how it is right now? You see how it's in the um, it's kind of still liquid. Um, what I was gonna say is, you want to blend it until it turns into like a gel form. So you can really, it depends on how you want it. But I would, I would recommend re blending it. You know how apple salt, like the consistency, consistency of apple sauce is. That's what I would recommend blending it up to. So let's keep going. I'm gonna put it on medium now. So when I open it, okay, so hold on, I'm gonna open it for you guys. I'm not done, but it should start looking like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, usually now, so this is what I'm gonna say. Um, I made sea moss before, so I have a little bit more experience on what to expect. You see how it is right now? If it's still liquidy, like more of a liquid form, once you put it in the fridge and you start your process, um, I think I think before you're able to, hold on, there's a little piece at the top. The process basically takes, uh, no, not the process, but when you put it in, once you put it in the fridge, you have up to four weeks until, you know, you have to dispose it. So, you know, just be wise about how much you use. I would recommend putting a cup, just using a cup at a time instead of the whole bag, because once you put it in the fridge, the, um, the life expectancy of it being in that mason jar in the fridge is four weeks. So let's get back to blending. All right, we're going to put it back on uh, medium. Actually, you know what? We're going to add some more water to it. Just a tad bit more. Just a little bit more natural spring water. That should be, wait. That should be enough. Let's get back to it. Hi. You have your sea moss. You have your sea moss gel. That's how it's an easy, it's an easy, simple process. You just gotta make sure you're using, um, make sure you're using uh, natural spring water and make sure you're using um, <laughs> organic wild crafted sea moss from, I say Lucia. I know it's Lucia. I know y'all say Lucia, I say Lucia. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, so basically I'm gonna put these in some mason jars and I'll be right back to show you the results when it's in the mason jars. I'll be right back. Let's get it. Damn. There you go. CMOS. I actually was, I didn't, I actually didn't mean to make this much, but this will last me. Um, I'm going to count the days because, you know, I'm going to count the days just so, just so I can keep up with the four weeks. But yeah, sometimes people go over four weeks, but I remember mine. Um, when you, when your, when your, uh, sea moss is starting to actually like age and go bad, it'll start giving off this fishy smell and you will probably be like, well, it's sea moss. It's supposed to smell like the sea. No, it's not supposed to smell like dead fish. It'll start smelling bad and it'll start growing. Like if you see little black spots in it, that means that there is a mold in it. So be careful. But yeah, this is it. Um, this time. I mean, I got a, I got probably a good, I probably got like, I could probably make two more jar, jars of these if I wanted to with the amount of sea moss I have left. But honestly, uh, the shelf life of the sea moss that's in dry form is two years. So you can have that on the shelf for two years. Um, four weeks for this. I don't know how much about the capsules. You got to do your own research on that. I don't really fool too much with them capsules. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Next time, I'm going to add fruit. So the next time, y'all going to see the entire process. It's just um, I kind of rushed this video because I have something else to do. I got to go get my son. I got to go out in the sun for the day. But as you can see, I got my spoon right here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take one tablespoon for y'all. For yeah, let's go ahead and take this tablespoon. So when you're going in, you see the consistency. Yeah, you go in get you a tablespoon. And I'm going to switch the camera over. All right, let's get it. You see it? That's sea moss. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, you know, 
if you know about sea moss, you know 92 out of 100 essential minerals that you need for your body. Calcium, zinc, iodine, iron, all those different things. And uh, just two tablespoons a day will keep you good. You know what I'm saying? You'll be good. You go work out. You put it in your smoothies. But it's just like a medicine. So be careful. It's like nature's medicine. Be careful how much you take. Because uh, you can overdose on nature's medicine too. It's a lot of light in here. But yeah, you can overdose on uh, nature's medicine too, I think. I mean... It just makes sense. You got to have a balance between everything, right? So, yeah. So, without further ado, that's really going to conclude this video. Next time when I make a video about Sigmos, I'm going to actually show y'all the entire, like me blending it, me soaking it, all that. But y'all kind of get the, uh, the understanding of it. So, further ado, like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. Y'all just basically catching me on my healing journey, you feel me? I mean, I'm going to come back with the lectures very soon, you know what I'm saying? I be having lectures with myself, you know, trying to figure stuff out and get right. But I'm going to come back with the lectures. But for right now, we doing, we hopping into some other stuff right now. <clears throat> so without further ado, it's your boy Dolo World, slash Dolo Universe, slash Dolo University, slash Nature Dolo, slash CMOS Dolo. <laughs> and I'm out. Peace. Oh, peace.